Right, we're back on the Mark III. I've been asked a few questions about the door. Now, I run the door, uh, sometimes I've got it closed and sometimes I've got it open. If I want high performance and I want the thing to get really hot, I run the door, take the door out, don't use it. And then, when I want to shut the fire down so it's just using hardly any uh, fuel, so the, the more you shut the door down, the less fuel you use. So this is what it's all about, um, how you want to run your stove. Now, the way I run mine is different from what you run yours. So this is the door, and you'll see that I've only got a, a very small gap there, look. So I've dropped that in. Now, the reason it's got a little gap there is because I want to use as little fuel as possible at the moment, but I will say today, outside it is zero. And I've just checked, the temperature is zero, and it's uh, a little, up past 11 here, and it's zero outside. There, and there's the slot. Now if you look in the slot, you can see that um, it's gone, the flame is quite lazy, but you can still see a little bit of blue there. That means it's burning quite nicely. But the slot is open and that's what it's all about if you don't have that slot then it will burn dirty but it burns quite nice with the slot but don't forget everybody's fire is different and they're all going to burn at different temperatures so this is with the slot open and the, a little gap at the front and a little gap at the front and if I can focus, come on. No, yes, there we are. So it's still running round the 300 mark, and that's with the slot <coughs> open. And uh, we're running quite. It's quite nice. It's just working nice in my workshop anyway. That's all it matters. It's the temperature I want, and the rads are quite warm. So there we are. It was just that somebody made a comment that I, on one video I had the door open, another video I had it closed, and to be quite honest, it doesn't really matter whether it's open or closed. It's what you want to control it. So, uh, in various different things, sometimes when I'm getting near the end of the day, I will turn the door around, completely block it off, so it does a lazy flame, and that's what I would leave it like that until it burns out. The other thing was that uh, <coughs> I've done, I cut this down, as I mentioned on the last video, and uh, I didn't realise when I'd done it, the benefits I was going to get. Uh, because sometimes I don't go in a workshop for a couple of days, the pellets get damp. And, uh, but by cutting that down to a short distance, uh, it doesn't matter if they're damp, because within a few minutes this thing's running and it dries the pellets out a treat. So that is, it solved a, another problem that uh, I had, where the pellets were getting damp after a couple of days. Um, don't forget, it's only got a tin roof, this old workshop, and that makes a big difference. But uh, yeah, quite often, just turn the door around, no gap, and that's how I use it sometimes. But you've got to remember, Yours might be different from mine. You have to experiment when you build one, how you want to run it, and what the best performance is for what you want to do. Um, I can't stress that enough. But um, they do work nice, and uh, you won't regret building one. This is Dave signing off. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe. I will come back to you for a different uh, video later. But there we are. This is the Mark III rocket stove. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe. Dave, signing off. Set you all on the flip side. Byesy byes. Whoosh, 